Welcome back to Lightcraft Academy. This is lesson number three. We're going to try something a little different today. We have a challenge for ourselves. I'm coming to you from Cardiff, Wales. No, this is not virtual production. I'm actually out here on the streets of Cardiff. Behind me is a very beautiful building. It's called the National Museum. And in that museum lies today's challenge. Built more than a century ago, the National Museum Cardiff is very much a national treasure. Filled with a diverse range of collections covering art, natural history, archaeology, and geology. Now before we get to today's challenge, let's talk about the various options you have to find, create, and import 2D images that you can use as virtual backgrounds. You have lots of background options ranging from 360 degree environments, AI inspired 2D environments, and we even offer a growing collection of images of both interior and exterior locations combined with animated environments. Today, however, we have come to the museum in search of a specific virtual set location, and we'll use our cell phone to sample some options here in the museum. I began by taking a series of photographs and decided on this exhibit room. Step one after snapping a picture was to import the image into Photoshop or Canva to resize the picture to a 4K resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels. After airdropping that image back to my iPhone, I hopped in a jet set. Following the steps in lesson two to set your origin and floor height, click on the 2D tab at the top of your screen and select import on the right, and then camera roll. Navigate to your image on your camera roll and click OK. If by chance you can still see an image that was previously active in your jet set app, simply click on the hamburger menu, select model, and click on clear model. Click the 2D tab again and we'll relocate and resize the image. First step is to click on the top button and select Move Forward. With two fingers, pinch the image to place it at 5 meters or roughly 15 feet away from you. Then click again to scale the picture so that it fills your screen, and perhaps scale it up a little more. In the 2D tab, you can also move the image left and right, but more importantly up and down so that the floor of your image aligns with the floor grid. Again, following the steps in Lesson 2, set up either Matte AI or Matte Green to record your scene. And just like that, I'm now in the museum where I could be doing some acting, perhaps doing a new stand-up. There's really no limit to what you can do with 2D images in Jet Set. You may have also noticed that I've added a little bit of reverb to my audio. Probably a room like this would not be acoustically sound. Adding some sound design just really increases that sense of realism. And that brings us to the end of Lesson 3. Thanks for watching.